Yo, what's poppin'? You done tap back in with the gangsters kitchen in the hood where the food is vegan and you will not get tired of eating. <laughs> I promise. I mean, hey, you cooking with the blood. What's poppin'? So check this right today. I'm going to show you how I made a vegan lentil meatloaf. Huh? Yeah, vegan, the, the lentils, meatloaf. It's busting, I promise you. So, boom, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some ground flax seeds. Now, the ground flax seeds with the mixed with water, this is what we're going to do our egg replacement with, right? So, we're going to do like a half a cup of the um the flax seed, and then we're going to do about one and about five cup of the uh of some water, right? We don't want to do too much because we don't want it water. We want it to sit. Let it get thick, let it get egg yolky type, right? So, boom, we're going to throw this on the lid, shake it up so it can get up in there, right? And we're going to let this sit on the side until it's time to go on and add it in there. So, boom, now I'm busting down some garlic, you know, probably about four or five cloves. And bust it down like this here. Then next, I'm going to slide this on back, and I'm going to bust down the onion, right? Now, I bust down about two... Two and a half onions because I'm making a nice size meatloaf. So, you know, yeah, that's what I'm doing. First off, I like to eat. And then, you know, pff, yeah, you know how I do. So, boom, now we're going to bust this down with some avocado oil. We're going to bust down some uh, some red bell peppers. Throw that in the pot. And then I got some carrots and some celery. That's going to give it that extra little yeah. Then we're going to throw that in the pot. And we're going to let that simmer down. Now, I got some soaked um, lentils. We're going to throw this in the, um, in the, in the, in the blender. You know what I mean? This is how we're going to do it. You hear me? Then we're going to some nicely, nicely cleaned mushrooms. You feel I got to put the emphasis on the mushrooms. Cleaned. Apple cider vinegar, right? So, boom. Then we're going to add some quick oats. And then we're going we're gonna to post that in. And now it's okay if it don't get bust down all the way, but this is how it's supposed to look. You know, this how you want it to look. I know it look weird, baby, but this is how it's supposed to look. I promise you, baby. Just please be patient with me. Let it turn out. So we're going to mix that in with the vegetables, and now we're going to add our egg replacement. Now, you can add the whole egg replacement. I added about majority of it and not all of it because, you know, I did do a lot. So that's how it's supposed to look. That's how it's supposed to come out, and you're going to mix this on in. And now once that's mi mixed in, I'm adding my black rice. You can use brown rice, white rice, whatever rice you want to use. And now we're on to the seasonings. Grab your pen and paper because I will not be repeating myself, class. I got pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah. I got cumin, basil, red cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, um, Italian seasoning, ground mustard, parsley, black pepper, nutritional yeast, liquid smoke, the hickory kind, coconut aminos, liquid aminos. Now we're going to add this on in there like this here. Yeah. Like I said, I hope you grabbed your pen and paper because I'm not repeating myself, class. Boom. Now we're going to add some chickpea flour. Now, one thing about the chickpea flour, it has a little taste, so we're going to cut it with some vital wheat gluten. And now this is how it's supposed to look, baby. Yeah, it's supposed to be thick. And now we're going to transfer this on to the baking pan. We're going to throw this in the oven for right now for about 10, 15 minutes. And we're going to add our, um, we're going to make our sauce, right? So, boom, I got the ketchup. Shout out to Good for Good Barbecue. They they sent this to me about two days ago. You know, shout out to them. It better be busting because, it, hey, yeah. So, boom, next I'm adding some tomato, um, tomato paste, mustard, organic vegan Worcestershire sauce, and I got some dark maple syrup. Now we're going to blend this on in, whisk this in, and you got to know the, the blood going to season it. Now we're going to add the black pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt, some thyme, Italian seasoning, garlic, and onion powder. Not too much, though, because everything already bust down. We're going to bust it down. Now you see how this already done went down in about 10, 15 minutes? See how it's brown and whatnot? Now we're going to add the little tomato sauce on top of our sauce. I'm going to spread this on in. Now you want to add this in for about another 45, 35, 45 minutes. Yeah. And now, boom. It's what it looked like, baby. Yeah. Vegan meatloaf, uh, lentil meatloaf. And you got to know I did a little um, I did a little extra. I plated it with the, with the vegan mashed potatoes and with some string beans. Yeah. Listen, I appreciate y'all for tapping back in with me. Tapping in with the gangsters kitchen in the hood. Cooking with the blood, baby. <laughs> yeah. Now get out my kitchen.